Hi guys, it's me, Sherina Garcia, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's vlog, I will discuss all about input devices and its example. let's define input devices. An input devices lets you communicate with the computer and you can also use input devices to enter information and issue commands. So basically, ang input device ay ginagamit para makapag-input ng data sa computer. Ang common example ng input device ay mouse, keyboard, scanner, digital camera, joysticks, and touchpads. The most common input device today is the keyboard. It is used to type data into the computer. It has special keys for giving computer commands. So, ang keyboard ay ginagamit para makapag-type ng letters, numbers, at symbols. It is composed of 101 to 114 keys. So, there are different parts of a keyboard. The first one is function keys. Ito ay matatagpuan sa pinakataas na part ng keyboard. Ito yung F1 to F12 na kung saan ginagamit for shortcut commands. Like for example, F1 for help options. Another part ng keyboard ay number keys, letter keys, tab key, windows key, and the modifier keys. Next is pointing device. It is used to move some objects into the screen and can do some actions. The most common pointing device is a mouse. It is used to choose and open program in data files. It is represented by an arrow sa monitor na kung saan na tinatawag na mouse pointer. Another pointing device is the trackball. Ang trackball is basically an upside down mouse. Ito ay ginagamit to move the cursor position from one location to another. Another pointing device is the joystick and game controller. Ito ay ginagamit para makapaglaro ng iba't ibang games and it is composed of handle to move the object up and down and left and right. And pwede rin tong i-connect sa TV. The last one is yung Wacom. Usually, ginagamit ito ng mga digital artists and ginagamit din ito kapag kailangan ng signature sa mga soft copy documents. Another input device is the scanner. It allows you to scan documents, pictures, or graphics and view them on the computer. You can also use software to edit the item you scan. Ito yung ginagamit natin to convert the hard copy to a soft copy. The next is digital camera. It is used to take electronic pictures of an object. The pictures taken by the digital camera can be used directly to the computer. So, ang digital camera ay nagagamit para makapag-upload tayo ng photos sa ating computer. And meron din tayong tinatawag na webcam or built-in camera na gagamit natin kapag meron tayong ka-video call online. The next is microphone, which is used to put sound into a computer. So, ginagamit natin to para marinig tayo ng kausap natin sa kabilang line at para ma-record ang voice natin. The last input device is the CD-ROM or the DVD-ROM. It can be used to put both sounds and images into a computer. It uses a laser to read the compact disc or the DVD. So usually, ang CD-ROM or DVD-ROM ay ginagamit natin para makapag-install ng software. And that's all for this vlog. Sana may natutunan kayo kahit konta. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And... See you on next vlog. Bye!